Hi! In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to style your documentation with the help of CSS so that it looks unique and beautiful and matches your company style. What if you want to create a truly unique style? Like this one, for example. Keep watching this video to learn how to do this and click Help. First, we will perform the most general changes, the font, its color and the background color of the whole user manual. All the changes we're about to make will happen in the CSS editor. To open it, first click the Lock and Edit button. Now go to the Style section of the Home tab of the Editor's ribbon bar and click Open CSS Style for editing. Click Lock and Edit. These are the CSS rules currently applied to your project. The rules for these general changes are stored in body. The font color will be white. And I'm adding a property to change the background color. You can add some custom font to your documentation. For example, you can use an online source like Google Fonts. Go to Google Fonts, choose the font you like, click Quick Use, scroll down. You'll need to copy this and paste it here. Leave out everything but the URL. Click Enter. Copy the font face and go back to your styles editor. Insert the font face anywhere. And don't forget to add the name of the font to your body section. Alternatively, you can upload your font file to your Click Help file storage. Click Save. Let's go back to the topic to see what changed. You can refresh your topic right from the styles section. As you can see, the changes have been applied. Now let's see how to change titles. As you know, there are different title levels. In this article, we have Heading 1 and Heading 2. Let's return to the Styles Editor and find H1 and H2 respectively. Let's change the font of the Level 1 title. Click Save, go back to the topic and refresh it. You can see the result of your changes. We also have a bulleted list here. I have uploaded a PNG image for it to the Click Help file storage. Open the Style Center page and let's find the UL tag that stands for bulleted list. Here we'll add a new property, list style image. I'll insert the path to my file in the Click Help file storage. Click Save, go back and refresh. You can see the changes. One last thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to change the link color. Let's open the styles editor again. Link goes under A. There are several code lines for links. Now I will change these two lines to change the link color. Hover is what happens when you hover your mouse over a link. Active is for when you click a link. Click Save, back to the documentation, refresh, click Unlock and View. This is how our links look now. You can also see a slight shift of color when I'm hovering my mouse over. And when I'm clicking it, it turns green just for a second. Now, with these guidelines, you can create a design of your own. Click Help offers an easy way to style your online documentation without any limits. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.